Hi everyone, this is Satyajit. Welcome to my channel Cloud Journey with Satyajit. So in our last videos, we discuss about the transit gateway. Okay, what is the working principle of transit gateway? And we have created uh, in two VPCs, VPC A and VPC B, and we have created transit gateway. And with the help of transit gateway, we are able to access between the resources. So today we are going to discuss about how the transit gateway in different account, let's say this is my account A and here two VPCs and I have another account, there is also another VPCs. So how this with the help of transit gateway, I can enable the connections between two different account with two VPCs, okay? So that we are going to show the demo today. So to uh, before to start that, like uh, I will I will show you the setup. Like I have two VPC, VPC A and VPC B, and I have four resources. Like uh, in the VPC A, we have one jump server and app server A, and we have a, in the VPC B, we have a jump server B and app server B. And if you see the transit gateway, um, transit gateway is created, and uh, transit gateway is uh, attachment proper transit gateway attachment so if you see transit gateway is available and in the transit gateway attachment we have a vpc a attachment and vpc b attachment okay and uh, transit gateway route table you know by default it will be created and there will be associations and there will be propagations we'll discuss more into that what is associations and what is propagations but in this lecture uh, we will going to discuss about how the, to make the connections okay so now i have two connections so i want jump server a to connection between app server b which is both are in different resources so if i i connect it to the uh, jump server a this is 10.0.1.18 ip so this is 10.0.1.18 ip i want to make the connections to the app server b which ip is 20.0.2.41. So I can just do telnet and 22 port MC. I can see that connections is there. And if you see the route table, same thing like uh, jump server A route table. If I go to the networking and go to this uh, route table and there in the route table, there is a route towards transit gateway. I, I added all the subnet, you can add it to the particular IP range, okay? One way is there, and now we need to check the app server B. In the app server B, if you go to the networking and the respective uh, subnet, and uh, there will be a route table, and where BPC A information, jump server A informations will be added, and the distances to a transit gateway. So now we are able to do in between the one accounts. So I have created a separate account. If you see this account ID ending with 4766, and in another tab, I opened another, created another account, its account ID is 3204. So both are separate account. So in this account, there is a VPC, VPC prod, and if you see the side range is completely different. So I want in this prod, there will be a EC2 instance and how I can connect from this account to the newly created account, okay, with the help of transit gateway, okay. So to before to start that, we need to understand how the resource can be shared between two accounts. So in AWS, there is a service called RAM, Resource Access Manager. So on that RAM or Resource Access Manager, we can share our resources. Like, you know, like we need to create a transit gateway attachment, okay? So I can go to here and I can go to this. This is my new account, okay? If you just denote Cloud Journey Satyajit Prod, this is my new account. And here Cloud Journey with Satyajit, this is my old account, okay? So in the new account, if I go to the transit gateway, there will be no transit gateway. Okay, I can create a transit gateway, but my intention is whatever the transit gateway is there in this account, okay, here uh, in this transit gateway, here I can create the attachment, okay, as so here when you create a transit gateway attachment, it will show the VPC in this in this account or in this region, okay, whatever the because your transit gateway is a regional services, okay, and uh, it is a same account it cannot reflect in other account okay I can, it is not possible so my intention is or my requirement is whatever the vpc is available on this account okay it means my new account or account two how this can be attached so how it will be attached so to make it possible we have to create or we have to share our transit gateway in here so that is possible via resource access manager okay so the ram 
how we can create the resources let us first sorry. let us first discuss how to sharing the resources between different account and uh, after that we can create a transit gateway okay so you can go to the uh, rim you can type resource access manager so in that resource access manager okay and both the account he's saying both the account should be part of the organizations okay so what i did i enabled the aws organizations what you can do we can go to the aws organizations okay once if it is the account is not part of any organ you can go to the organizations you can just click add an aws account or you can add it or you can invite it once you click on invite and uh, the account id you can type it the account id let's say my account id is this one okay just you can copy the account id and go to this here and just click on that and send invitations what it will say account id could not be invited because handshake violation exception it means it is the account is already added if you see at 3204 ending with so 320 is already added to the part of organization. So that's the reason it is saying throw the error or else you can just go and click on the account ID and send it. That's it. It will go for the invitations. So on that respective account, you need to go and accept it. Once you accept it, then you will be part of this organizations. Okay. So that is the first step. You need to enable the part of the organizations. Once that is done, then you can come to this resource access manager resource access manager you can come to here and here uh, you can do the resource share first of all you create a resource share it is just something shared by me or shared with me it means to whom i shared or any account what what are the services shared with me okay now i am going to share so it's saying shared by me okay to whom i am to share now i need to create a resource share okay so now i am going to uh, do the transit gateway okay transit gateway sharing so what i will do I will type it uh, something transit gateway share something okay this is most important resources so which resources i am going to share okay there are multiple resources if you see you can go uh, subnet sharing glue databases so many things okay many one outpost many thing is there so now we are interested with the transit gateway so i will type the transit gateways so on the transit gateway <coughs> sorry so it will select now i have only one transit gateway it is reflecting that if you have multiple transit gateway it will come like that so now you need to select the transit gateway okay so selected resources done you can select this one also selected it that is done so it's optional you can say a name or something resources resource and you can something type it transit gateway so it's optional anything you can add it next after that it is asking for the permissions you are sharing the transit gateway but what they can do with so this is a managed permissions okay default permissions it is there so i'm not modifying anything if you see the transit gateway vpc attachment okay they can do the attachment so i'm not doing anything but depending on your requirement you can create the managed permissions as well okay so now i'm going for the default next it is saying allows allow sharing with anyone so do you really want to share with anyone or do you want to share the organizations as we have already created the organizations which is secure because you want to share your resources <coughs> with the known account okay so i am selecting that after that it's it will show the organization structure if you remember the account id just paste it that will also work or if you display organization structure once you show the organization structure okay and you can select the respective account as i said this is my second account and this is my first account so i've selected the second account okay the account id is selected just select it next okay it is just saying what is the transit gateway name what is the transit gateway attached what are the tags provided what are the permissions okay and allows external principle means did you share with all no we did not share we will share with the only organizations and this is my account id to whom i shared it and just create a resource share once you share uh, create the resource share so resource share successfully created okay so it will not ask for any accept or acceptance or something because if at when you created recently let's say you have two account and you created aws organizations whenever you want to do that it will throw an error okay so what you need to do through your management account it means which one is the root account 
you need to go here and here settings we need to click on the settings and i have already enabled it was disabled state so you need to enable and save settings whatever what you will do so whenever you share it will automatically go to the respective account it will not ask for any acceptance or rejectance okay so that things you have to if you are getting them error you need to come to the and this will be possible from the master account master means where you have enabled the organizations okay so i i enabled organizations from here that's the reason i did that enable so now i resource share okay if you see transit gateway status is active now i need to go to the second account so this is my second account i need to verify really the access is here or not so where i need to go i need to go to the here ram like resource access manager once i go to there and i will say resource share okay share with me okay i need to share with me if you see transit gateway share is already active okay so i shared with there and it is uh, it is possible now so now i transit get to share with me now what i need to do so i need to go to the vpc okay and uh, how to attach it okay so now the resource access manager using the ram or resource access manager i shared the uh, the transit gateway on this account okay so now what we will do next step is how to create an attachment and uh, same vpc can be attached in the transit gateway and make the route table work so that we can able to connect it okay so that will continue in the next videos so in these videos we discuss about how the uh, the services can be shared or how the resources can be shared between the two account and what are the prerequisite organization structure need to be enabled okay and uh, once the resources so that uh, the settings you need to check it so that there is no acceptance or rejection options need to be done okay so that's it for the this videos and we'll discuss more in and uh, actual practical how the transit gateway connections in the next videos thank you for watching my videos